Now you already know that this day and age, things have changed. Where everybody has a platform where they can say whatever it is that they feel on their heart and minds to the masses. It just depends on who picks it up and run with it. And in this instance, you have none other than Shannon Sharp who got on his show undisputed and decided that he wanted to speak on the Ed Reed issue. And you already know Ed Reed is not going to take anybody saying anything reckless about what's going on with him down at Bethune-Cookman and where his heart was as far as what he was looking to do down there on the campus lightly. And Shannon Sharp decided he wanted to reach out to Ed Reed to, you know, express his feelings, you know, as far as trying to offer an olive branch to sit down and talk. Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. These two, these two NFL Hall of Famers, they need to sit down and talk. They need to hash this out because I honestly feel if Shannon Sharp is willing to sit down and listen to what he got to say, I think thing, I think there could be a much bigger, brighter day that goes on here. We're going to talk about it right after this. You know, it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in the free to tell them to come on in. It's not with positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, let's tap on in this thing and get straight to it. Because y'all already know, this thing here can go far left or far right real quick. And I say that because of the mere fact that when Deion Sanders decided he was leaving Jackson State University, Shannon Sharp gave his opinion about why Deion Sanders was leaving. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. We already know that they are good friends. You know, you hear Shannon Sharp talk about uh, LeBron James all the time. You hear him talk about Deion Sanders all the time. You, you hear him talk about, yeah, time, time this, time, time, time. So, I understood, you know, why he sat him down and let Coach Prime talk his piece. But, again, that's one side of the story that's being put out there to the masses. You get where I'm going with this, right? Because I don't think Shannon Sharp will ever go get someone from Jackson State for them to express exactly their feelings or their thoughts or what really went on over at uh, Jackson State University as far as with Coach Prime being there because he's not going to rock that boat. He's not going to rock that boat as far as the friendship and the relationship that he has with Deion Sanders because, again, they're friends. They're in media. So he's going to make sure he puts, you know, Deion Sanders in the proper light. Well, now let's, let's, in, let, now let's bring in Ed Reed. Ed Reed knows who? Deion Sanders. Was it Deion Sanders on the uh, live stream when Ed Reed went live over at Bethune Cook? Comments that Shannon Sharp made. It kind of, it kind of got me scratching my head. Like, okay, hold on. Did did you not listen to your friend talk to his friend via the phone while he was, you know, doing while he was sitting there giving that live speech to those athletes? And then I look back and say, okay, there's something else here going on because. When you hear Shannon Sharp say, hey, Ed, most HBCUs are underfunded and don't have the resources. That ain't the you. He said, that ain't the you, Ed. That ain't a power five. They don't have those big endowments. Shannon Sharp, Ed Reed has already told the world that he's paid. He, he's done his research since they called him down there on Mary Bethune. So I'm trying to understand if he's telling us that, why not call him, sit him down, have a conversation and ask those things of him to say, hey, brother, what's going on here? Now, yeah, I give Shannon Sharp his props. He did go back and decide to, you know, put an olive branch out there, uh, wanting to sit down and talk with Ed Reed now about the whole situation in which, of course, you know, the you, you already know Ed Reed putting receipts out on everything right now. He ain't playing a game with nobody. And again, he posted the DMs with Shannon Sharp on Instagram. Basically, just told him, hey, listen, man. Shannon Sharp reached out to Ed Reed saying, bro, I support you. If you took offense to anything I said, I apologize. Think you're going to make a hell of a coach. God don't think that was the right situation for you. All the best. Ed Reed said, nah, bro. Said, nah, bro, that's not it. God did. You said a lot of wrong about me, player. And then Shannon Sharp was like, like what? Let's talk. Nah, you did this on TV. Let us talk. Sit in your spot. Ed, I voiced an opinion. It's not that deep. Wish you all the best, but I'm done with this. And he put up the, the prayer emojis. 
that's always the easy way out to say that a person is done with something where they don't quite understand what's going on. When we walk our steps, the mission that they may be on, everybody's not going to understand exactly what's going on. I honestly feel Shannon Sharp himself, I kind of wish you would have reached out to Ed and y'all possibly could have went and looked at some things on the side to see exactly what's going on as far as with Bethune-Cookman and the things that he saw to get a better understanding of what's going on. Yes, everybody is not as polished as Prime, excuse me, Coach Deion Sanders when it comes to talking to the media. There's a lot of folks that have some rough edges about them, and there's nothing wrong with having rough edges about you when you're expressing your emotions and your feelings. Some people get it, some people don't. But again, I will, I will preface the fact that how it came across, the way that it came across, it shouldn't have been, I, I said, I'm going to say it before, it shouldn't have been done that way because that's your employer and your employer is going to take, you know, he's going to take some, some type of uh, offense to what was said. And then that's what happened. But all in all, I'm hoping that these two Hall of Famers have the opportunity to sit down. I'm hoping that Deion Sanders is able to get these two young men to sit down and have a, a conversation to get an understanding of what's going on. And when that conversation is had, let's come up with some solutions and not just want to come back to bash the HBCU, which we've seen several times in the past. But, you know, once again, I'm going to go ahead and let this thing go. And, guys, y'all leave your comments down below and let me know what's your thoughts on the, in the manner in which Shannon Sharp handled it. Do you think his comments um, were uh, uh, a little bit out of touch as far as what Ed Reed was trying to express as far as the things that he saw and things that he was going through while he was down there at Bethune Cookman. You or think this is just much of nothing and that these two will sit down and continue to have, you know, these two will finally find a way to sit down and have dialogue. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. But until next time, be the one and lead.